In the previous video, we saw the basic idea of what an array list is and how we can iterate through the arrays. And in this video, let me talk specifically about another way of iterating in, in the array list, which is called as an iterator. Now, at this point, I am going to comment the previous code and then let's get started. Now, if I just uh, walk you through iterator, let me just do it uh, for a second. Iterator is is a way that you can basically go through every single element in the uh, in the respective collection. Now, what is a collection? What is an array list? Uh, we know what is an array list, but uh, iterator is something that that allows us to progress through every single element. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, let me just get started. Uh, then we can understand it in a much better way. So, if I just create an iterator object, and let's call it iterator and then if I say integer list dot oh I missed the equal sign okay so this iterator equals integer list dot iterator and then if I just put it like this now this is basically is going to this is an iterator object which is going to go through every single element in the integer list object which is an array list right and then it is going to do iteration so when you say iterator it is going to return an iterator don't worry too much but at this point just know that iterator is an object that is going to go through every single element in the array list so for if that is the case then let us do some logic while iterator right this iterator has another element in the next right so when you say i'm going to go to the next city you, it is very obvious that there is a next city right so that is what we are checking if there is any next city now i gave you this analogy because this iterator is going to check if there is another element so if if the iterator is pointing here has next method would check okay is there another element to proceed further with so that is the idea behind has next has next next basically is suggesting whatever the name suggests it's it, it's going to check if there is another element in the list now if i say why literator has next and then i'll do something like this i'll say s out um next element is and then i say plus and then iterator dot next. Now, basically, what is this going to do? If I just run this, you see, it just went through every single element that we had added in the array list, right? Next element is five, thirty-five, seventy-five, hundred and five. So that is another way to iterate. Now, this iterator is is useful in many ways. Iterator can be used in all the collections. Now, what is a collection? I'll explain that in the next uh, or the in the next upcoming videos. But basically, everything, every data structure that we use, an array list, a, uh, a list, um, you know, a tree, uh, a tree set. I mean, there are so many such things that I don't want to bother you at this point with. But you know, everything is a collection. Now, with that being said, we have another thing that we could easily do. Let's see. Now, if I say integer list dot iterator add all equals index of now we can do something like this. OK, so this is the extension of array list, right? So we can do index of and then if you pass in an object, uh, let us say 30. No, let's make it 75 index of 75 and, and I'll wrap this with a is out statement and let's just cut it and paste it in here now what's going to happen is what could you expect this would do this is going to find the index of 75 in the array list which is 0 1 2 so the answer is 2 right so let's go and check it you see uh, the next element is this text is coming from our iterator here and 2 which is what we expected so that is going to be index of method like that. If you just little bit explore 
on your own you'll you'll find out that there are so many such helpful uh, built-in methods that Java provides you for example another example would be oh yeah so something like this integer list to array now this might be sort of like a, a you know what let let me not just uh, do this at this point I'll, I'll create another video to convert an integer list to an array but um, maybe contains yeah contains is a good uh, good idea so if we want to see if there is an object that this entire list contains we could do something like this let me put 105 and let me just put another junk value 20 whichever which is not present in the list and by the way I'm going to comment this out let us see what's going to happen at this point you see true and false 105 is contained in the list while 20 is not contained in the list so that is the basic idea about the array list in the next video let's go a little bit further in this array list concept if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and share thank you